See, I'm, I'm mixing it real well, bringing them green leaves up, and they already seasoned real good with the pork, and they seasoned with salt and pepper, and the oil from the fat back, just a little bit, and the chicken broth. All right, today we're cooking some southern style cabbage and what we have here is some uh, pork belly or salted cured fat back. Uh, that's all it is. And we're going to go ahead and remove this from the pan. We also have some additional seasoned pork knuckle to go in the fat back. So you will render down the fat back and the excess oil you will pull it off and just leave a little bit at the bottom of the pan. Just enough to keep it coated. Lots of people throw away the green leaves. I don't, it's the best part of it. You have to render it down first with a little bit of water and the stem. We don't throw that away, not here. Because the fat back has salt in it, we don't want too much salt, just a little bit. Please clean the cabbage. With the pepper. Don't be stingy with the pepper. Lots of pepper. And you will let the green leaves render down and let them cook before you add your other cabbage. And if you let the green leaves cook down and render them, it tastes really good. But when you're in the supermarket, do not throw them green leaves away because they are smoking. They're really good. Just render them down for how long it takes, 10 to 15 minutes. All right. After you let the green leaves render down for 10 to 15 minutes, remember, don't let them burn. We're going to go back and add the fat back to the pan and the seasoned ham hog. We're just going to put two pieces in there. And we'll add a little bit of chicken stock. And you can see the nice shine on the green leaves and how they render down. You render them down really nice so they get soft and cooked before you add the white cabbage in there. So I'm going to go ahead and put the top back on and get them cooked down a little bit more. All right. Now you can look and see how much the green leaves have rendered down. And it got all the flavor in them green leaves. And a lot of people make a mistake and add a lot of water to their cabbage. Cabbage got natural water. And that's what you let it cook in. Now we're gonna add the white cabbage. Black pepper. And just a little salt, not too much. And there's sea salt. We don't want too much salt in our food here. Boom. All right. As you see, I told you the water cooks back on itself on the cabbage, and we just mix it up now. And we'll give it a good thorough mix. Bring them green leaves up from the bottom with all that seasoning on there so it can season the white cabbage throughout the pot. And it's a lot of water on natural cabbage here, so you let it cook in its natural juices. See, I'm, I'm mixing it real well, bringing them green leaves up, and they already seasoned real good with the pork and they season with salt and pepper and the oil from the fat back, just a little bit, and the chicken broth. And that'll bring that flavor throughout all the cabbage. Very close. 
Yeah, after you mix that cabbage, like I said, it's a lot of water on cabbage and let it cook in its own juices. And you can see how pretty the cabbage is now with that green leaf in there. And them, them green leaves are flavor. And people don't realize how good it is with the white cabbage. So do not throw your green leaves away. Cook them. And your stems. Now it's the finished product. That's a southern style cabbage with fat back and seasoned ham hock. And fat back is just cured pork belly in the, in the smokehouse. <laughs>